Blow all havoc here. All right, so twenty episodes. Got some sleep in, so we get to collect all our crops again. Went around painting some more on the ship, just filling in blanks from the shenanigans of it painting blocks that weren't meant to be painted. So that's a thing. But by sleeping, we got our crops to reset again. So we'll be able to collect this up, get some more fuel going, because so we're probably going to need it for that SV, which is done being built. It was two hours, by the way. I thought it was an hour and a few minutes. It was an hour and 52 minutes, I think. So, yeah, I had plenty of time to walk around and finish detailing up the uh, CV. Well, not finish detailing, but go around looking for spots where the paint gun spilled. Oh, I think that's the term I'm going to use going forward is the gun spilled. All right, everything good, everything's good. Stop off, we're going to make some more food, grab some more food. We're at 31 last we looked. We're at 32. Oh, I meant to make 10 or 20 more, but uh, alas. So we're still 31. There we go. Full food, full O2, full hit points. Let's go place ourselves a uh, SV. Please, please have a warp drive. Spawn it. Um, there it is. Whoa, it's a pretty cool looking ship. Lots of guns. I, ah. Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> why do I feel like this is the uh, Mandalorian ship? Yes, warp core. Okay, so there's no fuel, so it's not going to do anything right now. Um, yeah, I approve. It's got wireless. Um, LCDs, two doors. Yeah, I, I approve. This is this is nice. Lots of guns. What? Uh, some galling guns. What are you? Rocket launchers. Okay. Rail guns, okay. Wow. So if he's got a shield, this could be our... Uh... Gosh, those are loud. A four. Uh, I don't know where else we happen to have fuel in this station. Just kind of flip through here. We have lots uh, out at the uh, CV if we make it out there. We got a couple hundred in uh, that container next to the fridge, too, plus the, uh, oops, I did not mean to climb out. 
So main, well, let's go here back to devices. Ungrouped, there's a lot of ungrouped things. Let's go ahead and auto group them. Uh, there's a bunch of CPU extensions. We can take those out. We don't really need them because we're not running CPU, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, so weapons. One, two, three, four rocket launchers, four rail guns, one, two, three, six gallon guns, warp drive, that's being a pentaxa tank and short range warp drive. I do not see a shield, so. Yeah, no shields, that's fine. So manage. That's not bad. So F4. Let's look for some pentaxid. I think we have some. Oh yeah, we do right there. Okay. Shut this off. Let's get that pentaxid being refined. We just need enough to get out there and uh, land on our CV. Uh, while that's doing its bit, let's go grab some some fuel. Uh, probably better if we went and landed on the other side. Could use another RCS, it feels like. It does not want to turn very quickly. Oh yeah, slug-ish. Um, back up. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't want to back up there for a second. Let me out, please. It's like land level and I will. So we should have fuel in. Oh, I already grabbed that fuel. So we can come out here and grab this fuel. And it's worked out that we've been doing this, so because otherwise we wouldn't have the fuel it takes to get this guy off the ground. So we made what? Two more? One more? One more? All right, that's all the pentaxid we'll need. Uh, let's grab some food because we were short on food. So let's take some food with. Let's take some O2 with. Let's fill up some uh, things with O2. And we're good on ammo for us. All right, we're good. Let's uh, let's hit the road. Let's go rescue our uh, our tadpole, our guppy. Yeah, it's fuel. That's O2. Oh, that's the Pentaxa tank. Perfect. We can just do it this way. Main, manage. We didn't grab. Oh, there they are. Okay. And fuel. Here we go. Let's go. All right, so now we're up here. We going map 
We are going to here. Lock target. Yeah, this needs another RCS. This is super sluggish. Um, I don't know how to deactivate my shields. I've actually never had to do that. Because I don't think I've been in a ship that's had shields before. So, shields off. Alright, so all those wrecks are gone, it looks like. We're flying a touch faster than uh, our CV does at 130 meters a second. Anybody remember where we parked? Oh, the other reason we wouldn't be seeing all those other wrecks is the range on a CV is drastically higher than that of an SV. So, oh, yeah, this uh, looks like a the Mandalorian ship, kind of. All right, so I think we're going to want to go this way. Oh, sweet. Totally dropped in in the right spot. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's so slow. Ugh. It's got great strafe thrust, though. No braking thrust. Up and down we're good, but braking mm, definitely has something to be desired. I think we got a landing gear on the nose of this. Not how I intended to come in. Again, no braking thrust. Okay. We made it. Um I, I'm I'm a stone. Uh, I'm just completely, uh, totally uh, astonished that we made it. So, I didn't think we were going to. Uh, I'm super stoked that we're, we're here. Okay, he looks hostile. I'm sorry. If I saw that on an alien planet, I would shoot first, ask questions later. 
So, yeah, we definitely would like to find some Zoraxian. It'd be fantastic if they were here. Like, inside the Polaris system. Inside this little area. Wow, that's a little bit smaller than, or larger than I thought. I thought it was, like, right here. Like, these six cubes. It's quite a bit of area. I'm glad I looked at that. I'm not sure they'd be too happy about us looting these, so we're not going to. Um, we need to be able to travel to here. This is a trade... This trade outpost is definitely one we want on our side. But until we can get faction with them, um, it's it's a kind of a, a moot point. We really got to go and find some Zoraxian. Oh, this thing's been running the whole time too. Uh, I mean, we got fuel here. That's leads to our problems, and we got a lifeboat now. So I guess that that helps too. So fuel. How much is this going to take? It's going to take all of it. Ugh, that was expensive. Okay, so what I would like to work on now is we need to go and find some Zoraxian. Like, we need to actually, like, bring it to them and start... start doing some conflict with them. I discovered it's not where I wanted to click out here. There was some places that had Zoraxian. Um, we need to find a place that has been taxied. And go there. So that's where we're... Oh, I forgot it did that. All right. Lock target. There it is. Well, I just passed the Pentaxid asteroid. Um, hi. Thank you. All right. Which we are kind of in the need of, so hopefully this isn't one we've pillaged already. Yes, it is not. And so, do we reset our drill turret? I think so. And I'm pretty sure we cannot use our mining ship. I wanted to try it. So, let's give it a go. Powered up. Okay, so we we can do that, but it doesn't have a mining laser on it, does it? Devices, multi-turret, yep. Can I use a multi-tool in space? Okay, I didn't think we were able to, but thought I'd give it a shot. That's cool. All right.
All right, and then you don't have one, right? We took yours off. And you are going to be a CV only, or HV only. Yeah, it's HV only. Boo. All right. Multi turret. Retractable drill turret. You don't have anything of help on that. <laughs> yeah, you're not helpful either. Okay. No. Yes. Drill turret. Right there. Back inside. That should be better. So that should be good enough pentaxa for a, a good minute. All right. So let's go see if we can find some bad guys, shall we? App. Let's come back over to here. Our info panel. Promethean pentaxide in gold. That's all it's showing, so. Come on, guys. Get us there. Oh, hey, I guess I could probably do some scanning, too. Civilian way station. That's it, and that's all here, huh? All right. Got one unmarked. That's going to be another asteroid. It should be at least. All right, let's get us home. Well, <laughs> let's get us under the rock. This isn't home. Lieris Moon 3 incoming. Pentax is a good uh, possibility for being camped out by Zaraxian. Obviously, the big ones are going to be uh, Z and E. But uh, let's find out here. Got three per tax and deposits. All right, so not likely to have uh, Zaraxi in here. She kind of sucks, but um, it's fine. It's fine. We'll uh, we'll make do. Let's head over towards, got some possible POIs over here. This one's the closest, so we'll head this way. 
a lot of resource nodes on this planet. Wow. And it's small. Well, moon, sorry. And it's pretty small. So it'd be uh, pretty quick to get around to what do we have here? That looks like an enemy POI. Ah. Uh, civilian. I got my hopes up. I saw that red and got super excited. Come on, uh, hydroponic station. Undiscovered, but there's civilian outposts all over it. That's fantastic. That's a crash ship. That's great. Whoa, that's an almost another crash ship right there. Watch out for that mountain there, Havoc. Crashed capital vessel. There's a lot of resources in that. There's at least one alien container in there too, but uh, it's not what we're after right now. Okay, let's head towards this POI over here. Oh, there's another one here. There'll be another civilian one, it looks like. Hanging gardens. Oh, come on. What? What is it? What could it be? What could it mean? Let's go find out. Uh, wait, hold on. I haven't checked the gravity on this planet yet. Oh, this could be bad. Uh, where are we here? Please, thank you. Oh, gravity's like almost non-existent. Some radiation, non-breathable. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, gravity is non-existent. <laughs> we just bounced. Oh, uh, that's awesome. And there's Pentaxid all over the place, so that's great. Um, all right. Usually they give you some type of like little uh, tidbit of information you get close to them, so thought I'd check. Jeez, we could fly around the planet on this. We can just literally just rocket ourselves around the planet. See if we can make it. Come on. Uh oh. Um. Havoc may have messed up. Um, so if I go from here, how do I get to... Is it going to fall out of the sky now? No, that's not fair. Oh, this isn't good at all. Um, it's not falling out of the sky. Auto break off. Great. <laughs> oh, this isn't good at all. Havoc's going to die of cold. Because he's a dork. I thought I was closer to the ground than that. As soon as I saw that huge gap, I should have I should have known. <sighs> Come on, go. Oh, we're going to make it up. Okay. One more time. We're gonna die of hypothermia. <laughs> oh, this isn't good, guys. Um, 
Hold on, F4. Uh, cargo box, one. F5. I know, I know, buddy. I know, hold on, you're almost there. There we go. Get our jetpack back, so make sure we make it in for sure. There you go, you're not freezing no more. Get rid of that freezing and hypothermia while we take care of that appendage. All right, well, that was fun. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here. I'm gonna continue to, uh, well, we're gonna continue. We're just gonna get up inside and get warm. Um, in our next episode, I want to continue to look for Xeraxian. That's our goal. I think we're gonna go ahead and hit the next planet and see if they have Z and E, because there seems to be always patrol. Oh, now you'll work. Great. So that doesn't work while you're in, not in the seat, guys. So just let you know. Uh, auto brake, turn back on. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for all the support you guys are bringing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. This is Havoc. Have fun and keep gaming.